Mm. What was it with Bob? They went on a worldwide search. And the family weren't happy with anything that they saw. And then the studio came to me to put an audition down. I said they should go on a worldwide search. They said, we've been on a worldwide search. I said, you should go on another one. <laughs> and then I don't know if they did. I think they were still looking and they were looking in everywhere and all the islands and Canada and all around the world. And, you know, and then I was like, I get it. You know, it's Bob. They need someone who can play 33 to 36. Tricky. It's tricky. Because by the time you get to my age, a lot of people have dropped out. If you want to cast Bob at 21, you've got the whole yeah. range of newbies coming. You know, you've got all of them. But at my age, you've got superstars and you've got working actors. And so I knew the pool. I knew the pool of people who would be taping. Because it's Bob at a very specific age. Um... Skip, he's 27, isn't he? You know, all the sons, they're in their late 40s, I think. So it was really specific. I was like, this is really specific. And, and there was just a small handful of us. Um, so I went, yeah, I'll, I'll do a tape. I'll do a tape because I knew the family were going to watch it. Um, and I knew the family were producers. It was, like, it was nothing to lose. It's nothing to lose. Just get to spend a weekend with Bob learning Bob and looking at Bob and watching Bob and it's fun. Yeah, Remember Philip, way it's yeah cool. Philip Seymour Hoffman said, anytime you've got an opportunity to act, do it. you do it your best and you do it. So I was like, it's that. Um, and I sent the tape and then the family were like, come over and we want to meet you. Yeah, and then I met Ziggy and he said, yeah, we want you to do it. And I was like, boy, got a lot of work to do. There's a lot of work to do. And that was it. And then we were just off. It was the, the process, you know, we were off and... Um, wow. When you, when you talk about the work you had to do, where does the work start? I got a guitar. Okay. And I started watching YouTube videos of how to, like, how to do basic chords. Um, and I was just watching Bob and uh, Sadella, Bob's daughter, she sent me a... She sent me a, a, a file. It was like a Wii transfer file. And I opened it, and it just went. And I was like, what is this? And it was just all these interviews of Bob from over the years that only the family have. Oh, wow. And I started listening to them, and I was like, yo, this is a map, like hours, hours and hours and hours. So I didn't even intend for that to be my process, but I just started listening to them and going, oh, I only understand about 70% of what he's saying because he's speaking another language in a way, you know. I think Jamaican Patois is not a dialect. It's more than that. It's a language. Um, so I just started typing them out one by one. And now I've got a lot of Jamaican friends, you know, and people I love who I've grown up with. I say, come over, I'll give you 100 quid for a <laughs> few hours. And we'd work through it and we'd put Bob on half speed on on, on YouTube or on like one of them audio yeah. things you can take the pace off them so that it's slower and we just work through translating and transcribing we just did that for months and just transcribed all of them and I'm just listening to what Bob's saying so I'm learning Bob through what he's saying and how he's saying it so it was just that it was just it was there was no set process it was just like you know I worked for all the albums you know every week I'd just be like right I've done that album for six days I'm going to move on to another album I was just jumping around like a lunatic you know, I don't think I actually, I read the script and then I read, I didn't get past the first 30 pages for seven months. I was like, I don't even, just forget. There's other work to do. I'll, I need, I'll understand how I can put Bob into that story for me. Yeah, where'd you find Bob? Once I found Bob, you know. And then some of the amazing things about the process were like spending time with people who, who knew Bob, you know. That was crazy, you know, I was in, I was in Trench Town with um, a guy called Lego, who knew Bob when he was Bob Amory, you know, 13, 14. Um, and just, yeah, so many people who knew Bob. I learned about him through them. And, um, 